So the iconic song, Open Arms, uh, how'd that one come about? Well, I was at Steve Perry's house and we were working on another song. And uh, he was talking to me about his solo album, wanted to do ballads, and wanted to do soaring melodies with ballads. And I said, Steve, there's no reason for you to go do a solo album when, you know, you could do it here in Journey. I mean, I, I've heard you do plenty of ballads on Journey albums. And uh, he said, well, John, do you have anything you know, you brought up from, from Los Angeles. I said, I have a song, you know. Um, I have a chorus, uh, melody and chords, and I said, I have to go get my Wurlitzer piano out there in my trunk. I brought it along just in case. And so he said, well, let me help you. And we, we dragged my Wurlitzer 40 pound piano and put the legs on, we screwed them in, and I played them. And it was a song that I had written for my wedding to my first wife, Tawny, which I kind of sang in Santa Monica way back in the 70s, 79 or something. But I didn't have any lyrics to the verse. And so I said, well, here it is. And John Waite didn't really like it that much. And the babies, I was in the babies when I played it for him and he didn't hear it. Um, so I. I just went for it. I said, what the heck, you know, I'm going to play open arms for Steve Perry. And so I sang it for him, and he's like, oh, my God, I love that. I love that. Uh, let's finish it. And so, you know, there I was, uh, new guy with Journey and Steve Perry and his, and his house there, and it was just the two of us. And, and then he said, you know, when you write a song, what do you do? I said, I like to make a movie. And he said, well, let's make a movie about this one. Let's make it, you know, two lovers and maybe he's getting back with someone that he has kind of drifted apart from and he's at a reunion and he had this whole script in his head and I'm like, I like that. So we opened up the song with, you know, lying beside you here in the dark, feeling your heart with, with your heartbeat with mine. And, um, that was it. Softly you whisper, you're so sincere. How, how could our love be so blind? And that line carried us to, we sail on together. So there's the movie right there. So this guy was having a homecoming with somebody that he had lost. And now I come to you with open arms. Nothing to hide, believe what I say. And it was brilliant. His idea, uh, melded with what I always had been wanting to to find in the song lyrically. I didn't know where it was and now I come to you. What does that mean? And he figured out the the plot of the movie. And so we made the movie together. Um, and uh, we brought it to the band, I think it was like we wrote it on the weekend, brought it in on a Monday morning and they all looked at us like you must be kidding. What do we do? You know? And it was just Perry and I and the piano. And Perry said, this song's gonna be big. Uh, uh, you're gonna be an orchestra. That's what you're gonna do. And, and, and he was very, you know, he championed the song till the very end. I mean, Neil wasn't sold on it, uh, but our manager Herbie heard it. And uh, it became the first number one single from the Escape album. I remember it went number one in Atlanta and we played it the first time in Atlanta and the crowd went nuts and the rest is history. So, you know, you never give up on a song. No matter what anybody says about your song, there's something there. And, and I, I reckon it was probably the Holy Spirit just saying, John, show Steve Perry open arms.